Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hospital Management System project tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I am going to import a uh, template in our project. So this is the template we are going to import in our project. So I am going to keep this link in the description so that you can download it from there. So if you want to see the live demo, you just need to click over here live demo and then you will be able to see how our template looks so we are going to uh, download this template so for download this template we just need to click over here download and it will automatically start a download over here so you can see over here that az file is downloaded and so first of all you need to extract the zip file that you downloaded so you just need to click right click on it and then you will see over here extract here if you click it it will extract this zip file so you can see uh, the zip file is extract so we need to go inside this and here you can see asset and html so from here uh, we just need to copy uh, copy this html and this asset both of them so let me just copy it copy so after you copy this uh, you need to go to your project uh, let me just go to my project directory so here you can see hospital so we'll go inside hospital then you can see a public folder uh, we need to go inside public folder and we need to paste uh, all the file that we copied from here so i am just going to paste everything inside this public folder so paste so here you can see two new folder asset and html now if you go to a sublime text then and if you go to the public folder you will see uh, two more folder asset and html now inside html you can see index.html now all the template that uh, if you download from internet uh, everything is uh, start from index.html so i'm just going to copy everything uh, inside this index.html so control a control c then we'll go to our resource then we'll go to you views then users and inside users we have home.plate.php and over here you can see except layout and we are going to remove this for now we'll use it after a little while so for now we'll just remove it and paste the code that we copied before so if we save it now now this is the code for our this template so what i want is that uh, when someone uh, go inside our project i on the user to see this view first so for it uh, let's go back to our route first we'll go to route then web.php and uh, let me just uh, copy this control c and i will say over here control v so now in order to show uh, this template to the root view we need to say over here only slash and in the home controller uh, we need to mention a function name let's say index let's save it control s and here you can see we have uh, another route gate we need to remove this so let's remove it now let's save it now we'll go to our home controller app controller home controller and inside it we are going to say public function index and here we are just going to return a simple view so we will just say return view and we are going to say user dot home so if we save it now and uh, if we refresh our hair so here you can see our template perfectly so first of all we need to fix this uh, login and registration option because so that our user can login and register so let's fix this first uh, let's go back to our code again and if you go down uh, at line 86 you can see over here we have login slash register so let me just make separate option for login and register so let me just remove this so now let me just copy this li control c then uh, control v and over here instead of login we'll say register register and if we save it and if we refresh over here you can see we have a now login and register a separate option now if you click login it doesn't take us to our login or or if you click register it doesn't take us to our register page so for it uh, we need to write inside this href we just need to give two second bracket and inside it we need to we'll say route and two first bracket to single quotation and if we just say login it will take us to login page now a laravel give us this option if we just say this route login and if someone click the login button it will take us to the login page 
the same goes for the register as well if you just say our here route and inside to first bracket uh, if we say register and if we save it so and if we refresh over here and if you now click this login button it will take us to login page and if you click this register button it taking us to the register page now let me just uh, try to log in from here so if you click login and let's keep the user and let's keep the password and if you click login it will take us to the same page here you can see uh, because if you go to our home controller uh, here you can see at the redirect function for user we are returning this user.home view and our index view is also user.home if you uh, check over here uh, at the top you can see we have slash home at the top so somehow we need to do something so that user can understand that uh, he is logged in so for it let's go back to our code again and we'll go to our home.blade.php again and before this uh, login we are going to give a if condition we will say at the rate of if then inside first bracket we will say route double clone has inside to first bracket we will say login if there is any logged in if there is any login then we will say at the rate of we will check the auth and then uh, inside uh, let's say here inside this auth now if for this auth condition let's say user is logged in so and if there is uh, no auth or if there is no user is logged in then we'll go to else condition we'll say else we'll go to else condition so if there is an no logged in user then it will show us login and register but if there is any logged in user it will show us this message so we also need to in this uh, if condition and auth condition so we'll say after this register list we'll say at the rate of uh, first we need to in the auth we'll say auth now we'll say at the rate of int if so if we save it and let's refresh here so here you can see user is logged in so we are not seeing the login or registration option over here but this isn't right we need a logout option so that the user can log out so for it uh, let's go back to our code again now we'll go to our dashboard.play.php and here you can see two line these two line is actually responsible for creating a logout option so let me just copy it and uh, we'll paste it uh, inside this auth condition so let me just remove this h on and we'll say control v and control s so if you now refresh over here you can see here a logged out option for user if you click this button you can see logout option and if you click profile you can see some uh, some other option for uh, changing password and you can there is also a delete uh, account option over here now this is actually created by the laravel so now if we log out from here click log out you will be able to see the login and register option over here so now the main part is done so now let's just uh, structure our template or uh, or you can say home.blade.php whatever you want so uh, we are going to divide this page code so that we can simply understand those code really easily uh, so let me just show you uh, here if you go to our template here you can see all the doctor images over here so let's find the doctor code part so here you can see this is the doctor section if we just remove it let me just cut it from here control x and let me just uh, let me just give a equal sign over here and if we save it now and let's just refresh so here you can see equal sign the doctor part is gone so uh, we are going to create another file uh, inside inside this user folder so we are just going to right click over here and we are going to click new file then here we are going to say uh, doctor.plate.php and let's save it control s and save so we are going to paste everything that we copied so control v control s now we are going to our home.blade.php again and instead of this uh, we are going to say at the rate of include and inside it we are going to say now you can see our home our doctor.blade.php is actually inside uh, user folder so we say user.doctor 
so if we save it now control s and if we refresh so here you can see the doctor part is back so we are going to do the same for uh, some other part uh, latest news and make an appointment so let me just uh, make a separate option for uh, make an appointment so let's go back to our code again and this time we will uh, copy the appointment part so here you can see this is the appointment part make an appointment so let me just copy this part uh, control x and control s uh, let me just keep it uh, let's say something and if you save it now and if we refresh this appointment part will be gone so here you can see there is no appointment part you can see the 555 here so we are going to create appointment file inside user folder so click new file then we will say about here appointment dot blade dot php and save it control s save control v control s now we will go to home dot blade dot php and here we are just going to say at the rate of include so we are going to say user dot appointment so if we save it now and if we refresh here and if we go down uh, here you can see make an appointment is still here and uh, let's just remove this part we do not require this part so let me just remove this part control s and let's refresh okay now this is all now if you want to like have the other part like a latest news or this footer in different file you can do it as well i already show you how you can do it now let me just uh, have this latest news in different file as well so this time i am i am just going to copy everything for the latest part Control x and then we'll create a folder for latest let's say over here latest latest dot play dot php so control s save control v control s now we'll go to uh, we'll just say at the rate of include and then we'll say user dot latest save it and uh, let's refresh so you can see the latest part is still here so this is all for this tutorial uh, in the next part we'll add the admin template uh, in our project so thank you very much for watching and if you are following this tutorial then please subscribe this channel then it will be very easier for you to get notification for the future tutorial so thank you for watching stay tuned stay healthy